Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about timed abilities. So for those who don't know what timed abilities are, it's this special little yellow icon over here. You can see that even though my unit is a 5 slot unit, I have 6 affixes because I have a special one which is a timed ability. The effect duration remaining 3 days and after 3 days this ability will just disappear and it actually gives me a lot of stats. It gives me 50 melee power for 7 days and you can extend it to 14 days if you want and once it's done you can just refresh it and boom that's another 50 melee power for free and it works for melee power range power tech power so this sounds amazing how do we get it first of all if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing as I upload PSO2 content daily and you wouldn't want to miss out on my super simplified guides as well as any PSO2 related content anyway without further ado let's begin So to start off, I want to explain what timed abilities are. It's a crafted skill. So if you have a crafting console like me, you can walk up to it, press E, and you'll have crafting menu, DIY crafting, so forth and so on. However, if you don't have a crafting console like me, which by the way, you can get with fun points, you can also come right here to the personal terminal and go to crafting and you'll get the exact same menu. The only difference between the two is this crafting console will save you one menu so you can do things a little bit easier as you don't have to shift through an extra menu basically. So we're gonna click on crafting menu and in DIY crafting, you'll notice that you can do armed extension, you can do photon arts, customize techniques, install time ability, and item dismantling. And install time ability is the one you want. But before we jump into that, I want to show you the different crafting achievements because it's very, very important to do so. So when you go to crafting achievements and you go to install time abilities, you're going to be greeted with this page over here, which may look a little bit intimidating, a little bit scary at the beginning. But don't worry, I'll walk you through it one step at a time. First of all, I need you you guys to understand that timed abilities only work on specific maps and this is important because in order to unlock certain timed abilities on specific maps you may need to level up your crafting and go through all these different achievements so you can see right here on this star recipe acquired upon achievement unlock so I need to craft force exploration one for back arms and legs so we're gonna do that right now I go to DIY crafting I go to install timed abilities and what I need to do is I need to update data drive first. So updating data drive will be creating the actual skill. So you can see over here there are back, arms, and legs. So we're going to do the back piece first, and you'll see back forest 1, 2, or 3. The main difference between 1, 2, and 3 is 1, it, the cost is going to be different, and 2, the sub effect is going to be different. So the higher the level, the better it is. So you can see here on Forest 3 that it gives me 10 to 30 melee power, range power, or tech power, and the main effect will be a random one, but it is a level 3 main effect. However, you'll also notice that it costs a lot more. It'll cost 5 Nevarious Crystal, 15 Silverbacks, as well as 30,000 Meseta. While if I look at Forest 1, the effects won't be as great. It's only power from 10 to 20, and it's a random effect level 1. However, it will cost a lot less. It's 1 Nevarious Crystal, 5 Irobacks, as well as 10,000 Meseta. So since we're trying to unlock achievements over here, we're going to be crafting the level 1 versions instead. So you see here, I'm going to craft the ability. So I got auto HP recovery 1 as well as melee power plus 15. And once you finish updating a ability, this menu will pop up and it'll tell you would you like to save it. So if you craft a really nice skill, you can save it and you can craft multiple copies of that indefinitely as long as you've saved it. However, remember you can only save one ability at a time. So my previous ability was Emduskia AD, which is not very good because AD stands for advanced missions only. So it will not work on the ultimate quest version. This only works on advanced missions. So this is not very good. So I will be overwriting this with the new craft, which is my forest one. And it'll say, you're going to overwrite it. Are you sure you want to overwrite it? I'm going to be like, yes. So once the ability is updated and saved, next you want to create timed ability data. And you'll notice right here, hey, this is the one that we just updated, the one with 15 melee power as well as auto HP recovery one so yes we're gonna craft it so we click on that and it's gonna cost even more materials over here and the effect will be seven days we're gonna click yes and timed ability data was a success we have created it and now we can exit out of my crafting menu and you'll see once I open up my inventory right here in the potions tab timed ability data back 
and it says for forest auto hp recovery one as well as melee power plus 15 and i can apply it by clicking on use and i can use it on my back piece however i don't want to do that because the current timed ability on my back piece is giving me 50 melee damage so you simply have to keep crafting timed abilities to unlock each achievement as you slowly work through your achievements tab keep in mind the stars over here means that you can actually unlock the star immediately and start crafting for that so for example i craft a lot of photon arts so i don't have to start off at the first square over here you can see that i jumped down here i've crafted some skills right here and there are multiple pages of different skills so you can see over here that cherry blossom finale i have been crafting a ton of cherry blossom finale because it's one of my main skills for my katana braver so i've unlocked a ton of stars over here so in order to unlock the next star right here i just need to craft another cherry blossom finale and i'll just be slowly working through all my little stars over here to increase my crafting level so now with all that mumbo jumble out of the way, I know you guys are as impatient as me. You don't want to go through all this crafting garbage. It's so much work, it's so troublesome, and you want your timed abilities now because there's currently that Umduskia event happening. So for the impatient people out there, what you can do is you can come to the Vizzy phone and go to crafting. Once you go to crafting, you can go to crafter search or you can search among your friends or alliance members depending on if you have anyone in the alliance or if you have any friends which are hardcore crafters. If not, just do crafter search. Once you go to crafter search, you're going to click on search timed ability installation. And right here, this will give you a whole list of all the different skills and you're going to go select whatever you want. So for example, let's say that I want to upgrade my back piece for Amduskia. We're going to click on that. And right here will show you an entire list of all these different people who are crafters. So all you need to do is hover your mouse over their names and you'll see on your right side over here effective conditions and up main effects rare drop rate increase as well as sub effects melee power plus 50. And this is from Jayco, which is a guild member as well as a good friend of mine who does really hardcore crafting. So if you want, you can check him out or you can simply just go down this list. So let's say for my arms piece, I want Uu Tard over here to help me craft a skill because it gives me rare drop rate level 5 as well as melee power plus 45 with additional effect melee power plus 20. So that's a total of 65 melee power. I'll click on it. I'll go yes. I'll visit the room and it's awfully empty. And what I want to do is, again, I want to find the crafting console over here. If they don't have a crafting console, it's fine. You can simply come in here and go to crafting and you'll also get the menu. However, most people who do craft timed abilities will probably have one of these. You're going to click on this purchase order. Click here and again, ooh, tard and right here, arms and duskia. So again, it'll cost me 10 photon drops, 24 steel arms, as well as 18,900 meseta. Click on that. And says right here are you sure you'd like to request the help from them you can also use the support item one to increase the days so for example this only lasts seven days you can increase it to 14 days if you have the specific booster and you're going to click yes and right there the order has been placed so you can see here that i have placed an order for uu tard as well as an order from jayco and then when they have time they will craft the abilities for me and once your crafting order has been completed you're going to notice that you're going to receive a mail over here so you can see here that jayco has completed the crafting order that i sent him and it's going to tell you to go to your personal quarters access the visi phone and select craft and orders in progress so all i need to do is come here to my visi phone and you go to crafting and right here, purchase orders in progress, click on this, and right here, complete. So if it's not complete, it'll be ordered issued, it'll be in yellow, and when it is complete, it will turn blue here. I simply click on it, and it says, would you like to receive the item? I say yes, and voila. Received items, do you want to send kudos to the creator? Please send the kudos to the creator. It's just polite that way. And once that's done, you're going to notice in your inventory where the potions tab is, right here, timed ability back. So you can hold on to these. These don't expire. However, you cannot trade them. These are bound onto your account. But what you can do is you can store these in your storage and use them whenever you need them. So for example, I currently still have three days remaining on my Amduskia effect. So what I can do is I can wait until the three days are up before using this item again. So I'm going to use it here just to show you that it may or may not stack. I'm actually curious myself. I wonder if it'll go up to 10 days or if it just refreshes to 7. Um, and no, it does not stack. 
Okay, I just answered my own question. All right, everyone, so it does not stack. So you can see here that the effect duration I currently have is three days, but if I apply the seven day one, it will not become 10 days. It'll just become seven days, okay? So make sure to use the time ability until it's expired before applying a new one. And it's really that simple. So the TLDR is if you don't want to do the crafting yourself and you're lazy just like me, all you need to do is go to the VisiPhone, find people who do enjoy crafting, and help them out a little bit by paying all the materials they crafted for you. They gain more experience so that they can craft even better skills, and we get the timed abilities that we actually want. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! What can I say? Up to your welcome for the heels that boosts the rest.